Hi, this is Matt in the library, and in this video, we'll review a few pointers about Gale eBooks. Gale eBooks offers trusted reference materials that are useful for when conducting background research on a topic you're unfamiliar with or just want to learn more about. You'll find encyclopedias and specialized sources from top publishers here, so if you're looking for an alternative to Wikipedia, give Gale eBooks a look. It's especially useful when you're starting out an assignment and want to do some pre-research, so some background research on your topic before you dive into scholarly peer-reviewed articles and research. And even though you might not cite the material found in Gale eBooks, it's usually a great starting point for your research and will give you some ideas on where to go with your research, as well as help develop things like keywords and, and subject headings to search uh, when you dive into other databases. Now that we know why and when you would want to access Gale eBooks, once you're in there, you'll have to make a decision. Are you going to browse for information or search by keyword? Uh, most people are going to search by keyword. Uh, so if I go into here, type in a general topic, I'm going to get a list of resources, much like you know any other search-based uh, resource tool, whether that be EBSCO or ProQuest and other databases in the library or you know Google. Uh, you know, I enter a keyword, I get results related to that uh, topic. Another way to search, though, is from the home page. You can browse collections. Uh, so there are a number of different areas. Uh, there's a business, education, general reference, history, law, literature, medicine, just to you know, na name a few of those in the list. Uh, they're also to the right. So you can either look at a short text list on the left to quickly access things, or you can kind of scroll down through. Uh, there's left or right arrows. You can scroll through titles. Uh, some multi-volume works might have individual entries for each volume. So that's the case with this encyclopedia in the uh, business area. Uh, some are also in a series. So for example, there's a series of business plans handbook. Uh, there's multiple volumes with many, many business plans in them. Uh, and you can uh, either browse those or, or again, you can you know search by keyword to find uh, content from them. And so that's that's basically the two ways to search in Gale eBooks. A again, you're either uh, browsing or searching, and, and depending on your topic, uh, depending on uh, what you want to find, you may do one or the other. Most people probably can get away with just a normal keyword search, but it's good to be aware of the other option. Now, for the final pointer, I'm going to go over in Gale eBooks. I'm going to review just how to cite or save a document for later. Now, as I said before, you might not really need to cite uh, an, a work that you have read and found helpful in Gale eBooks uh, because you might just be reading it for background information purposes. But if you do want to cite specifically some information from it or uh, you, you don't want to share it with somebody, uh, there is a cite tool. You can click it like most uh, automated scripts. When you're looking at that APA citation, you know, look for things like capitalization. Oftentimes these automated scripts don't exactly get that correct, but uh, you know, it does a pretty good job of getting things pretty close to where they need to be, so you only have to make a, a few edits. Now, if I want to download or print out the uh, work that I'm looking at, uh, all those tools are available in the same menu in the upper right. So ba basically all of my major tools are in this uh, toolbar menu and in the upper right corner of the toolbar menu. So if I uh, want to download the item, I can click download. Uh, if I want to uh, print it out, I click print, so on. If I just want to link to it, I can uh, click get link. That'll show me a hyperlink back to the item that I can copy and paste for later. Now below, there's also some additional tools. Some of them are for accessibility. I can increase or decrease the font. Uh, but there's also the download uh, and print options here again. And I can also click here to email a copy of the uh, article or, or document that I'm looking at to myself or others. And there's two cloud options. You can download it to Microsoft OneDrive or Google Drive, uh, depending on whichever one you use. Most PG students are probably Google Drive users uh, since we all have Gmail here. But uh, either way, you know, those options are available. Uh, the final thing I'll point out is, is actually back at the toolbar. And the reason I, I point out last is because it actually changes the view 
of the document you're looking at. If you click book view, it'll bring you to a more PDF like uh, view of the book. So it'll look more like a digital photocopy of the printed edition. And for, for some folks, especially if you're printing it out, th this might be a, a better view to look at. Uh, otherwise, I think most of the time, uh, most users are just fine using the default view. It has all the information you need there. But if you do want to see how did it look when it was printed out, maybe the particular content you're reading would benefit from that, you can click that book view button. Gale eBooks is a pretty straightforward resource made for anybody looking for an alternative to Wikipedia when doing background research. So this video is also pretty short and straightforward and to the point. Should you have any questions about using Gale eBooks though, or finding information elsewhere about your topic, please reach out to us.